love you, no hands, no feet. Because it's 5 a.m. and no one else is up. No hands, no feet! No hands, no feet! Welcome back to the sweater guys. It's season two, episode two, which is cool. We took a little hiatus, as they say in the industry, from publishing an episode. Uh, it's been about a month since we released episode one. Yeah. And the reason for that is basically we went into what's called a build phase. A build phase is when you take a little bit of time off and focus really intensively on making the product better. So what we did is we reached out to everyone we've sold sweaters to in the last year and asked them to tell us honestly and wholeheartedly how we did. It's like the billionaire Warren Buffett says, the more you learn, the more you earn. Tomorrow, you're gonna be able to go out and buy a Lamborghini. And we got a lot of incredible feedback from people that basically said, oh, I really enjoyed ordering with you, but this was really annoying and I wish this could have been better. Or, I didn't enjoy ordering with you, this was an incredibly shitty process, I hate you guys and I'm never going with you again. All of that feedback we took into account, we looked over it, and we focused on individual things that we could do to make that product experience better. To really pay attention to negative feedback. Since we've been in a build phase, we have all these exciting new pieces of tech that are super nerdy that we can actually go and show you, which is super cool. So we've got Dom today talking about how he built a printer from scratch, modifying an Epson 730 into a $20,000 top of the line DTG for only $430. I've got Ted talking about how he's using cutting edge artificial intelligence in browser to do something with AR, which is super cool. Ah, oh, holy f man. And I'm also gonna talk about uh, APIs. APIs stand for, Ted, what do APIs stand for? Application Programming Interface. All right, Dom, what are we doing? I solemnly swear that I will not leave this office <laughs> until we can print a t-shirt with our DTG. We're walking to our hardware store, and we're gonna buy as many parts as we need to make this printer of ours work. Go, 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 go! Hi, are you, are you open today? Yes, I'm good, Okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna get it right. I'm gonna get it right. We're gonna turn it on for the first time. Hello, darkness, my man. That's an error. <laughs> that, that, that's I've come to error. talk with you again. Because a vision softly. I'm super excited to announce what I've been working on for the past month. It's called Sweater Pose. It's a tool in the design studio on our website that's gonna let you try your sweater on in AR. And I'm excited to talk about it because it uses Google's cutting edge, newest open source AI algorithms. Algorithms that previously could only be run on cloud supercomputers. And they've been specialized and optimized so much that they can run on anyone's computer. It should feel like magic, like you're doing a tango with a computer. So for those who are interested, I want to dive into how we did it. It uses TensorFlow.js uh, and the PoseNet algorithm. It takes an RGB stream of webcam footage from the user and it takes intermittent screenshots, feeds them through PoseNet, which returns an object with body parts, XY coordinates for each and a confidence score of, of each body part. We can take those coordinates and make an SVG drawing of the user's design, overlay it on the webcam footage and add a div and HTML so that the user can drag the logo around dynamically uh, and manually on the website. So check it out and give me your feedback. It's still a beta, it's in testing, so it will be really good in a year. Next week on the sweater, guys. No batting gloves. Wiggles the bat with an even stance. The pitch. Brown ball back to the mound. Dennis has got it. Flips to first. That's the ball game. See you later. The McGill Redmen win the championship. Final score 9-4 to four over the University of New Brunswick. They are 2018 Canadian University World Champion. I honestly think that Dominic DeFelice with that three run double in the first inning is the player of the game. So DeFelice, the player of the game for McGill. 